Hi, Stephen from Owner Disown. Well, by popular demand, I finally got the Y540. Lenovo were kind enough to send me it. Now, I did check out the uh, the Y740, and I really like that. Now, if you haven't seen that, you know, click up here. But uh, this is just uh, the first uh, first look, unboxing, and uh, you know, followed by the full review. So, of course, you know, put in the comments below what you'd like me to, to test for sure. But before I launch into it, here's a quick word from our sponsor. Are you looking for a career in tech? Well, perhaps you should register with Indeed Prime. It's the world's largest job site. Now, instead of you looking for the perfect job, let the job come to you, and it is free. They are registered with thousands of employers, you know, in 80 different markets covering the UK, the USA, Ireland, and Canada, and more are being added all of the time. They offer career coaching, they offer resume review, they help you with the interview preparation, help you with salary negotiation, and also help you leverage your network. So yeah, so if you're interested in a job in tech, you know, click on the, the, the card here, or I'll put a dis uh, in the description below a link there to Indeed. Just click on that, and uh, you know, good luck to you finding a new job there. So anyway, the Y540 starts at uh, $900, and for that you do get a six core 9758 CPU, and you do get the GTX uh, 1650, and one stick of uh, RAM, eight gigabytes, and you get um, a 60 hertz, 250 nits panel there. So I think to be honest with you, the best value option will be for $935, the uh, Y545, because there you do get the i5 9300H, uh, but you do also get the 1660Ti. And I think, you know, that's a great deal for $935. But that being said, my unit um, is $1,250. I get the 6 core 9750H, the 1660 uh, Ti, uh, I also get 144 hertz, 300 nit panel, and I also get a 1 uh, terabyte uh, SSD, Western Digital SSD, and I do get 2 sticks of RAM 8 gigabytes, so it's running dual channel, that's nice. And if you do go for one of the other options where you have a spinning hard drive, they don't uh, you know, give you a 5400 RPM hard drive, they're always using 7200 RPM drive. So, that's very good of Lenovo. So let's see, this is a first look and a full review will follow. Now you do got a, a big power brick, probably a little bit overpowered here for the uh, for my configuration for sure. I mean, you can get all the way up to a, a 2060, but still I think it's a bit uh, big for that. It's a 230 watt brick. Uh, it's a big brick, bigger than most of course. It's a nice, quite a plain look and it's got a, an interesting pattern. You might hear it. Yeah, I could probably do that all day, <laughs> you know. Now, I suspect it yeah, will show fingerprints as time goes on. It looks as if it pops, might not, but I think it will do. And in this view, we have the keyboard protector there. We have a rub, slight rubberized coating in it. Uh, you know, it's all plastic build, but that feel does feel nice. And I imagine that, you know, like the Alienware's, uh, that will show fingerprints too. But it does a nice feel to it. You do have a Windows Precision trackpad. It's on this fairly small side with separate mouse buttons. And you don't have, you know, crazy stickers. You know, Harman uh, speakers. Uh, you do have a separate number pad, which is nice. And the keys are quite large. So I do quite like, like the look of the, the keys. Uh, and the screen goes actually all the way back, which is quite interesting. And you'll probably notice here, there is a webcam pointing down at your belly button. So you do have very thin bezels, of course, which does make it look pretty nice. And it's about just over one inch thick. Uh, so it, it's not the thinnest, but certainly not the thickest. And underneath, we have the, uh, the air intakes here. We do have some rather large feet at the back. I do like that. We should give it a nice angle, get some air flowing under here. Phillips head screws and no warranty stickers. So that is very good. So once you remove the 11 screws, pries off it. It's very stiff to get off. The plastic cover, 57 watt hour battery in an L shape. On this cover here, you have the two RAM slots, the PCI Express M.2 slot, two and a half inch bay, 9560 Wi-Fi card, two fans, each with 70 blades. And you have one shared heat pipe and two separate heat pipes and two heat sinks. Now I do wish there were some heat sinks here at the sides that might help with the cooling. So key lighting is white and it has two levels of brightness. So on the lid you have the word Legion and when it's powered on this light lights up here. 
So here I want to compare the footprint uh, between the, the HP Omen 15, the Y540 and the Acer Predator Triton 500 in case you know you were thinking of any of these uh, these models. Now look at the uh, the difference in the in the power brick. This is for the HP Omen. You know, and this is powering a, an i9 and a 2080 Max-Q, 200 watts, compared to the 230 watt brick here for the Legion. So bear that in mind, you know, in your bag, it's going to weigh a bit more. I wanted to show you the difference in thickness between the Triton 500, HP Omen 15, and the Wi-Fi 40. So let's have a look at the ports on the right hand side here. We have a USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type A port. We have the Novo hole and an air vent. On the left hand side, we have a combo three and a half millimeter microphone and headphone jack, um, a USB 3.1 type A port. And I believe this may be the one that uh, has uh, the power capability should the laptop be turned off. You can actually configure it in the BIOS to charge your, your cell phone, even say the laptop is turned off. So that's nice to have. And uh, of course you have an air vent and you'll notice you've got the hinge forward design here to make a uh, way for perhaps some larger heat sinks here at the back. Now, most of the ports are around the back, which is certainly quite nice. Of course, you have the USB 3.1 uh, Gen 2 Type-C port, no Thunderbolt, mini display port 1.4. You have another USB uh, Type-A port here, uh, HDMI 2.0, Ethernet jack, the bespoke power connector, and the Kensington lock. So the ports at the back do have, are labeled with what they are, but they don't light up, unlike the Y740. So here's a comparison of the screens, the Wi-Fi 40 in the middle, Triton 500 on the left, and the HP Omen 15 on the right, all 144 Hz panels. And looking at the backlight blade, it's actually not too bad at all. And looking at its weight, we've got uh, 4 pounds 14 ounces, and with the power brick, 7 pound 1 ounce. So, after 22 minutes of running 8 64 CPU stress test, the CPU is averaging about uh, 3,200 uh, megahertz. That's what's generally pulling around. Uh, temperature rise is settling in to the uh, low 90s and about 63 watts. So we'll need uh, probably an undervolt here to bring it into check. Time spy and 8 64 going at the same time. CPU, you know, 90 to 95 degrees, thermal throttling, of course. Still is pulling 60 watts, that's a lot. The combined workflow, of course. The GPU, actually was, was running pretty cool there, you know. So it's not too bad, maximum 65. So Time Spy by itself scored 5,628 points, a graphics score of 5,540. And uh, looking at the... Uh, the CPU temperature it was still running there high you know in the high 90s so we're going to take uh, do some tweaks on this and see if we can uh, improve it somewhat okay so with the uh, Intel extreme tuning utility installed and again running ADA 64 stress test I have uh, applied 155 millivolt undervolt I've adjusted the the turbo uh, watts to 55 and in throttle stop I've set it to uh, speed shift plus EPP to 1 and disabled BD processor hot and uh, the outcome I'm holding a fairly steady you know about 3900 megahertz it does throttle down on some cores of course and the uh, temperature is running in the, like the high 80 so that's an improvement for sure so there you have it quick uh, overview of the uh, Lenovo Legion Y540 so remember put in the comments below what you'd like me to test I'd like to thank you for watching and uh, remember to subscribe so you can see my full review thank you